viewers there is this update i want us to be aware of anambra state government ready to implement ban on single-use plastic <laughs> this is very very interesting and uh, if it is implemented is going to reduce a whole lot of uh, littering and waste in our environment. Yes, uh, the Anambra State Government wants to say they are ready to implement the ban on the single-use plastic. You know, these plastics include uh, sterophene, or these uh, sterophene bags, or these uh, takeaway. Uh, yeah, plastic they used to put food all those stuff that is the target so but i'm going to give the lowdown the details of these um, plans and uh, whatever that comes with it the plan is uh, in conjunction with uh, the ministry of environment in a number of states so we are going to hear the details of this and um, also, the one the federal government talked about, the federal government is talking about their own FG banned single-use plastic sterophene packs in MDAs. That's the ministries, departments, and agencies. That's offices in uh, federal government uh, offices. So, but. We are going to start with uh, the ban, the ban, the planned ban by a number of state governments. Let's see the details. Well, this details is coming from uh, Voice of Nigeria. So let's go into the full details. The Anambra State Government, through the State Ministry of Environment, in partnership with the Anambra State Waste Recyclers Association, is ready to implement ban on single-use plastics such as uh, styrofoam and uh, similar products to address the issue of uh, plastic pollution and protect our environment. The State Commissioner of Environment, Engineer Felix Odeme, will disclose this and the 2024 launching of the All Anambra Community Plastic Waste Recovery Challenge. Mm, this one is another challenge and uh, we are committed to enabling a number of people to upload sorry to uphold the five r's of the circular economy which is refuse reduce reuse repurpose and recycle this initiative align with our goals of creating a sustainable environment and uh, fostering responsible consumption and production. Last year in 2023, we embarked on an ambitious journey with the first edition of the Plastic Waste Recovery Challenge. It was a groundbreaking initiative that mobilized community, fostered environmental awareness and achieved remarkable success in tackling plastic pollution across our beloved Anambra states. This plastic issue, such as pure water, such as uh, pet bottle, in fact, is a very big issue in Anambra states. On each Aoka, you see our drainages. They become blocked by these items despite that people still pick them to recycle them but to no avail a huge number of them still block our system our flood channels so if they can get this thing right <laughs> and ban it is going to solve more than um, half of the problems that uh, a number of states is having and the Nigeria at large concerning uh, this littering of uh, our environment. So our target was to recover 10,000 tons of plastic waste 
but thanks to the overwhelming participation and the dedication of our communities we exceeded that goal recovering over 10,000 tons yeah, this thing is money this significant impact filled up with uh, hope and determination today as we launch the second edition of this challenge we do so with uh, renewed energy and uh, even greater resolve to create a cleaner, greener, and more sustainable Anambra for ourselves and future generations. Very, very important. This year's challenge, Plastic Waste Recovery Challenge 2.0, builds on the solid foundation we, last, we laid last year it is a treatment sorry it is a testament to our collective will to make a lasting difference the commissioner affirmed that uh, plastic pollution remains one of the most pressing environmental issues of our time as it threatened our ecosystem wildlife and even our health however we have seen firsthand the power of uh, community action. We have seen that we individuals, families, schools, businesses, and organizations, you know, unite. We can effectively combat plastic wastes. Let me take that again. However, we have seen firsthand the power of community action. We have seen that when individuals, families, schools, businesses, and organizations unite, we can effectively combat waste, plastic waste. The Plastic Waste Recovery Challenge 2.0 is more than just a campaign, it is a movement. It is a call to action for every number of citizens to take responsibility for our environment. It is a challenge to each of us to reduce, reuse, and recycle. It is an opportunity to educate ourselves and others about the importance of sustainable practices and the impact of uh, plastic pollution. This year, we have set an ambitious target to recover 100,000 tons of plastic waste. We believe that uh, with your continued support and dedication, we can achieve and even surpass this goal. The challenge we once again engage our community in a spirited competition to see the communities that can collect the most plastic waste. It will involve awareness program, clean up drives, and the innovative solution to plastic waste. Engineer Odume will charge all the 179 communities that constitute the state to key into the program, noting that the ministry, in collaboration with other partners, will recognize and reward the effect of uh, those communities who go above and beyond in their commitment to a cleaner Anambra. The prizes for this year's challenge are 1 million Naira first prize, 500,000 Naira second prize, and 250,000 Naira third prize. The initiative will create indirect jobs in the industrial and the environmental sectors, fostering economic growth while promoting environmental sustainability, he noted. Earlier, Anambra State Governor Professor Chukuma Soludo, represented by his deputy Dr. Onye Kachuku Ibezim, while flagging of the exercise, urged the citizenry to become environmental advocates. 
by internalizing the habits of managing and disposing waste properly. Presenting their goodwill messages, the Provost Wafori College of Education, Nsubwe, Dr. Justina Anya Diego, the Managing Director of Anabra State Waste Management Authority, as former Michael Zuemena, he said Operation Clean and uh, held their number of child brigade counterpart Celestine and Nere. Among others, expressed optimism about the project and noted that the challenge will help clean the environment, provide economic opportunities for plastic waste recyclers, and create awareness about the importance of recycling plastic. So viewers, uh, this is a wonderful and uh, good development. If these bands can be placed on these items according to the title of this uh, piece of writing that Anambra State Government is ready to place ban on single-use plastics. In so many countries, even in African countries, they have banned them because they hardly decay they don't decay easily and uh, it's just single-use plastic so why the use why the use if they cannot be reused except if they are being recycled and uh, you know despite this um, effort in recycling this item they still litter our streets Many countries have placed ban on it, even foreign and uh, local countries here in Africa. I don't know what is holding us from implementing these bans to have a cleaner environment. That is the purpose. There is uh, this type of bag that people can use. That bag is not cellophane, it's not um, styrofoam or whatever they call it. It's just uh, like a paper bag that easily gets decayed. You know, it's not like this our type of uh, nylon bag and the rest. So that would be a very good uh, idea. Well, viewers, if you have your contribution, we need to hear you out and see what we have to say about this. We are not done yet. We want to hear the ban placed by the federal government on this uh, particular issue also. FG banned single-use plastics Styrofoam parks in MDAs. The federal government has banned the use of a single use plastic across all ministries, departments, and agencies. The House of Representatives had earlier in February this year called on the federal government to ban the production, importation, distribution and use of styrofoam and single-use plastic throughout Nigeria. Wow! This is coming from uh, the Guardian News and it is quite a good move by the House of Representatives. Since they have started talking about these things, they need to intensify effort in sustaining it. Let's there be ban on this. I know that uh, many Nigerians will be in support of this. If there is any issue about this, they should find out from other countries how they do their own. You don't need to go far, just some of these West African countries. You will see how they do their own. It's also urged 
the federal government to implement a phased approach to the ban by providing sufficient time for businesses and industries to transition to alternative eco-friendly materials and practices. You see, let's continue. Consequently, the lawmakers called on the federal competition and the uh, Consumer Protection Commission and other relevant agencies to monitor the quality of the packaging of foods and, material and beverages, particularly in fast-moving consumer goods, ensuring global best practices are followed and all appropriate regulations guiding the whole process are adhered to. Examples of such items are plastic bread bag, that's plastic bread bag tags, plastic bottles, stereofoam takeaway containers, straws, cups, among others. Addressing State House correspondents after the Federal Executive Council. Yesterday, Minister of State for Environment, Iziak Adekunle Salako, said the single-use plastic ban aligns with the government's broader plastic uh, waste management strategy. So I thank God, though, Nigeria now have started complaining about this, uh, our littering of environment by all these plastics. Well, let's continue. Salako said the council pre- presided over by President Bola Tinubu unanimously approved the ban, which is in line with the 2022 National Policy on Plastic Waste Management. So there has been a policy in 2022 concerning these things. And yet, Nigeria is yet to implement these policies since 2022. Well, let's proceed. The minister who also decried the menace of plastic pollution in Nigeria described it as a major issue in our country. He said plastic waste often clogs drains and they contribute to flooding you see exactly what i've been saying while also polluting the oceans and affecting human health and the environment this initiative demonstrates our commitment to addressing the triple threat of climate change biodiversity loss and uh, pollution he also said the MDA's ban is a preparation towards tackling the menace of plastic across the country. Already states like Lagos, Oyo and Anambra have also banned the use of stereofoam in their states. They are now using Anambra as an example, Oyo and the uh, Lagos state. But, well, I don't know, I'm yet to cook, uh, see on ground if these things have really been banned because i i am in a number and uh, <laughs> i move around well they probably have not taken note of uh, the ban on this so he explained that the ban is part of the administration's efforts to promote responsible plastic waste management by refusing, reducing, reusing, repurposing, and recycling. That's what they said. Well, uh, this is a cheering news, and I'm happy that Nigeria has woke up to the reality of things. We cannot continue to be doing things anyhow without control, because these things affect the environment, it affects the ecosystem, it affects human life, you know, all these plastics and the rest of them, uh, ordinarily they will find their way into the gutters and drains. They will block it, aside blocking it, they will contain water that mosquitoes can easily breathe inside it. 
so they have a lot of challenge that uh, comes with it and uh, the government need to tackle this thing head on there is no need wasting time about that the policy has been there since 2022 and uh, we are yet to implement it so viewers um, thanks for watching and um, we are going to monitor this project and see how it goes and it calls for the participation of uh, everybody if all hands must be on deck to make this thing possible well this is younger life channel and you have not come um, and subscribe to this channel click on the subscription button notification bell like this video and don't forget to share this video so that others can watch thanks for watching until i come your way next time i say bye for